I'd like to share with you one of the greatest acts of architectural terrorism to take place in London as a way of highlighting why I say that progress is a dirty word and why it's so clear to me and others that futurism, modernity, is in fact an effort to downgrade our idea of brilliance and art itself. Behind me is a hotel. Now, it didn't always look like this. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, a man named Charles Fitzroy Doll created two hotels, among other things. One was the Fitzroy, just over there, which is opulent and beautiful. The other is the Imperial Hotel, which is behind me, but it wasn't this building. It was a stunning, amazing building with Turkish baths. There's still a ghost sign of the Turkish baths just down the road there. So for whatever disgusting and unforgivable reason, it was decided that in the 1960s, Charles Fitzroy Doll's design, which was opulently amazing, should be deliberately demolished so that Charles Gill could create this monster. And this, to me, like many, many people, is not a simple act of progression. It's us devolving. It's us taking away the very essence of what brilliance is. Art and architecture are very much entwined and therefore it's safe to say that when people come and spend all that money to say in somewhere like this they have no idea or they're stepping further and further away from true art, design and brilliance. You might not be able to tell just how ugly this building is with the scaffolding but if you have a keen eye you'll be able to see it with ease. So this is the surviving hotel created by Charles Fitzroy Doll. I could go into great length about the history, the fact that there's monarchs plastered all around the sides, the fantastic statues, but I think instead I'm just gonna let you observe this building, compare it with the brutalist one in which we just came from and ask yourself, how would Charles feel if he knew his efforts and the brilliant art that he created was demolished to stick up a brutalist piece of rubbish.